Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the application of properties of DFT. Specifically, we are going to look at the symmetry property, that is application of symmetry property, symmetry property of DFT, real valued sequence of a real valued X of N, that is X of N as a DFT, X of K, and if x of n is real valued, that is x of n is real, then x of n minus k, that is x of n minus k will be equal to x of k conjugate. So, x of n minus k will be equal to x of k conjugate. So, based on this property, uh, we'll, uh, we will learn the, uh, we will basically look at an application of this property. That is, consider the problem where we have x of 0 equal to 5 x of 1 that is the DFT sequence is given as x of 0 equal to 5 x of 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 j and then x of 2 is given as 0 0.5 0 0.5 and the number of values that is the length of the DFT sequence is given to be 4 now we have to find the last value that is we have to find x of 3 we have to find the value of x of 3 so the x of 3 can be determined by using the symmetry property. For example, x of 3 can be written as x of n is 4, so 4 minus 1. So, therefore, k is equal to 1. So, x of 3 must be x of 1 conjugate. Therefore, uh, since x of 1 is given to be 1 plus 1j, x of 3 must be equal to 1 minus 1j. So, to summarize, we have looked at an example of uh, where we apply the symmetry property of the DFT of a real valued signal x of n. Uh, so, uh, consider a signal x of n which has a DFT x of k and then we have the property for a real valued x of n that is there is a symmetry uh, within the DFT sequence that is x of n minus k that is capital X of n minus k is equal to the conjugate of x of k. So, because of this uh, symmetry uh, we can actually find the uh, some unknown values that is for example, consider a case where we have three values are the first three values of a DFT sequence of a four point DFT sequence that is x of 0 equal to 5 x of 1 is equal to 1 plus j and x of 2 is equal to 0 0.5 and then x of 3 can be determined from one of these three values because we have the symmetry property that is x of 3 that is equal to x of 4 minus 1 will be conjugate of x of 1. So, because of the symmetry we have x of 1 uh, conjugate is actually x of 3. So, x of 3 is indeed equal to 1 minus j. Thanks for watching.